football coach coming up at 6 p.m. Well, it's actually the calm before the storm, if you will, here right now, though it's hard to believe that anything happens here tonight can match the turmoil of the past 12 days. But that should all come to an end here as the final chapter is written to this wild ride and is expected at the top of the hour, Paul Christ will be named the Badger football program's new head coach. By now, most of you know who Christ is and where he comes from. The Madison native, after a very successful seven-year run as the UW offensive coordinator, spent the past three years as the head coach at the University of Pittsburgh, where he posted a 19-19 and -19 record after taking over a Panthers program that was in disarray due to four head coaches in just over a year's time. Chris was passed over for Gary Anderson back in 2012 following the departure of Brett Bielema to Arkansas. Barry Alvarez feeling it wouldn't be the right time to hire Chris after he helped get him the job at Pitt only a year prior. This time around is different for all parties involved. And the result will be Chris becoming the Badger program's 30th head coach in just over an hour. That will be made official here at Nicholas Johnson Pavilion. In the end, the final destination is one that will make many Badgers fans and those inside the program very happy. But how everyone got to this point over these tumultuous 12 days was stunning, surprising, and leaves us with as many questions as answers. Thank you, Coach. Go Badgers on Wisconsin. You got to look at every single phase of a program when this happens to you so it doesn't happen again. I look forward to the opportunity of evaluating and trying to help these kids understand how let's not make that happen again. Earlier this afternoon, I received a call from Coach Anderson, made me uh, aware that he was resigning and has accepted the head coaching job at Oregon State. It was uh, it's kind, of, it's kind of deja vu. Ladies and gentlemen, the new coach of Oregon State Beavers, Gary Anderson. Uh, Wisconsin is a tremendous school and it was an opportunity. There's no ill feelings, there's no issues with me. Again, I simply saw an opportunity at Oregon State. It's, it's a tremendous opportunity that presented itself, and that's where we were told to go as a family. You get attached to people. You get um, develop relationships with, uh, you know, not only our coaches, but, you know, our um, director of operations, staff, and such. It's, it's, it's sad to see some of those guys go. I always keep a short list, and we will proceed in our search for a new head coach immediately. Paul Chris is a perfect fit for this program because he's been here. He understands the landscape. He understands what it takes to be successful here, more so than anything else. It would be great to get Coach uh, Chris back. It seems like I, you know, he's a backyard friend that you know, I can still keep in touch with. I'm sure uh, we would love to work with one another. Now I've heard that speculation, um, uh, you know, obviously playing for Paul and, and getting recruited kind of by Paul. I think that would be a great fit. To say I'm surprised is an understatement. You know what you learn in this business, you roll with the punches and you move forward. You go on and I've always been known to be flexible. And the big thing with Coach Christ as he went through his time here at Pitt, it was really the stability that he gave the program because it was on shaky ground, so to speak. It appears to be the worst kept secret in Madison and maybe all of Wisconsin that it looks like Paul Christ will be replacing Gary Anderson as the Badgers football head coach. We've had a, a lot of interest in the position. Obviously, I had a very short list. At a short list, you know, we're getting very close to making a decision. And I think we'll uh, eventually get the right person in this position. And all of that circus, if you will, and long road has brought us here today, where Paul Christ is set to be the Badger program's 30th head coach. He'll be announcing a press conference here at 6 o'clock. Now, there's still plenty of questions left to be answered by Paul and what the staff will look like. Which of the assistants will stay from the past Badger staff? Which ones will leave? Dave Aranda, the defensive coordinator, one of those names that's been tossed around a lot is possibly staying on with Paul Christ to run the defense. Does Chris continue to coach the Pitt Panthers through their bowl game? They play January. January 2nd down in Texas against the Houston Cougars. That's a question we'll still need answered. And is three years and a 19 and 19 record as head coach at the University of Pittsburgh enough experience for Chris to meet the demands that he'll now face here at the University of Wisconsin, a team that's coming off winning a West Division title in the Big Ten and is a perennial conference title contender, though it didn't look like it when they lost to Ohio State in the Big Ten championship game. Lots of questions, still some answers to get. But right now, the journey back for Paul Chris, a happy homecoming. We'll kick off here tonight at 6 o'clock, and we'll carry that conference press conference for you live at 6 o'clock at Nicholas Johnson Pavilion. Rob Vogel, NBC 15 Sports.